welcome back to another episode of Catching My Second Wind. Beautiful day at the marina here. It's actually 72 degrees, November 6th. Um, we've had some really nice weather this past week in uh, southeastern lower Michigan. Uh, it's not going to last, but today is a beautiful day. Today I plan on winterizing the motor. I'm going to show you how I do that. I have a Yanmar 3Q M30H motor. Too. So hopefully you'll find it helpful and I uh, appreciate your time. I hope everybody's doing good, staying safe, and thank you. you to climb up the ladder to get on the deck of chopsticks. And here's just a few of the items I'm going to be using for my winterization. Looking forward to getting the motor winterized. It'll be my first time, gonna be exciting. A little bit of learning process, but I think it's gonna be pretty easy to be honest with you. And you can see I had the two jugs. I have five more below deck and uh, hopefully I won't need all that. But uh, so one of the first steps is taking off this cover, taking this off so I can expose the motor. I'll pull this grate off, which kind of exposes the bill. And then I'm gonna pull this off also, which should give me a little bit greater access to the bilge of the motor and the raw water pump. This is the Seacock for where my raw water pump pulls in water to cool the motor. Okay, so I've loosened this clamp already. This is the intake part of the raw water pump system. And here is the seacock. I'm going to open that just to drain out any residual water that might, might have been in the hose. So I'm going to pull this off. Now I measured the outer diameter of that at about 11 sixteenths. So I just need a piece of hose that has an 11 16 diameter. And it just so happens that I have a piece of garden hose. Because I realize that it's a real nice fit for this intake. And uh, I'll use that to put into the bucket filled with antifreeze so I can winterize the motor. So that should work out really good. Okay, so you can see I have my five gallon bucket kind of sitting down there in the bilge. I have the green hose, which I hook to the intake side of the raw water pump, put a clamp on it, tighten that, and I put it down into the bucket. And I turn on the motor, I should see the water or the fluid level in here start to drop. And then I should be able to look outside or hop down real quick depending upon the rate at which this is dropping and see that I have um, the red antifreeze, the marine antifreeze being expelled through the exhaust along with the exhaust, the diesel exhaust. So that'll give me a very clear indication that it's been circulated through the system and the motor will then be winterized. Okay, let's just fire her up. Okay, so I took a little piece of rope that I had, or line, and I tied it down to the hose that comes off of the seacock. Wrapped it around this piece of hose and then tied it down here to this cable. Uh, just to kind of hopefully ensure that the hose, for some reason, doesn't want to flop out uh, while I'm doing this. Make a mess. Okay, so now I'm ready to start the motor and we'll see how this thing works. It took quite a few. Now, I actually did start the motor earlier and it fired up. It was drawing down antifreeze. I went outside, I could see it spitting out water, then the red pop, but I didn't get the video footage. So I'm going to do it again. So. That signal is that's ready. There's a button that I push. Okay, motor's working. 
to be able to go outside and see that it's spitting out red pop out of the exhaust or the antifreeze rather. Well, there you go. Pretty solid. So that's awesome. That's a good sign. Tells me that it's circulated through the motor. Now I can go up, shut the motor off, and I may have to go get some more antifreeze too. I just pull this knob to shut the motor off. Okay, so as a final test to make sure that when I was winterizing the motor that the thermostat opened up and the the um, coolant actually went in through the motor block instead of just bypassing it and going out the exhaust, um, I took off this hose and I thought maybe I'd see some pink red antifreeze come out of it. Nothing. And I, I tried to look down in here and I don't really see anything. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, I looked at the Chilton's manual, and if you see that, that little brass knob, and there's actually a hose that comes off that fitting. That's where I can drain motor from the block, and I'll, I'm going to unscrew that, and I'm going to see if I see red antifreeze coming out through that tube that's connected to it. First, I'm going to have to remove the air filter. Okay, so it looks like this takes a 13 millimeter wrench. And I, I am seeing red antifreeze come out. So now I can unhook the hose. I can put the hose that connects to the seacock back on the inlet part of the raw water pump and the motor is now winterized. I can rest comfortably over the winter knowing that it won't be damaged when it gets really cold out on a Michigan winter. Pretty easy to do, much easier than I thought it would be. And uh, now I can do it going forward and save myself the one to two hundred dollars or more that the marina might charge to do it. In addition to winterizing all the other systems, the, the head, the sink, and the air conditioning. Very exciting. So uh, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. And time to put the uh, hose from the seacock on, back on, and uh, make sure the valve is shut and turn off the petcock for the fuel. And uh, we're all set with the motor. So. Uh, Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. Appreciate your support. Please remember to go below and hit the little red subscribe. And then hit the notification bell just off to the side so you receive notifications of when I post new videos. Thanks for watching. Stay safe and have an awesome rest of the day and weekend. Depending upon where you're at when you're watching the video. Bye.